morning and salam Ibu Petiwiku. The Sarawak government will continue to provide support to future Pacific Partnership missions in the state as it reflects the strong cooperation among the U.S. Navy and the Malaysian Armed Forces. The Pacific Partnership augurs well for the state and nation's preparedness to face a disaster as the mission led by the U.S. Navy will enhance readiness and the exchanging of knowledge in responding quickly and effectively to natural hazards. Representing Chief Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Johari Tunopeng at the closing ceremony, Minister of Utilities Datuk Sri Dr. Stephen Rundi Utom also said he was touched by the Americans who expressed their gratitude to Sarawakians for being hospitable during their 12 days in the state. On future Pacific partnership missions in the state, he said it would be a good option for the U.S. Navy to choose the interior parts of Sarawak to hold their programs such as the rebuilding of dilapidated school classrooms. Huawei Malaysia has further strengthened its strategic partnership with the Sarawak government by signing a joint memorandum of understanding MOU to continue supporting the state's digital economy transformation agenda, specifically in the domain of digital talent development and technology innovation. The joint MOU was signed with the Center of Technical Excellence Sarawak Centex and Sarawak Multimedia Authority SMA during a recent ceremony in Shenzhen, China, where State Secretary Tan Sri Dato Amar Muhammad Moshidi Abdul Ghani signed on behalf of the Sarawak government, while Huawei Technologies Malaysia Syrian Bahad Enterprise Vice President Oliver Liu signed for Huawei. Speaking at the ceremony, Chief Minister Datuk Padinggi Abang Johari Tunopeng said Sarawak's digital economy is crucial to stimulate the next phase of economic growth, create job opportunities and overall improve the living quality of Sarawakians. He added, through the establishment of Centex Digital Academy, with the current and upcoming digital programs pioneered by Centex and Huawei, they are confident that the future ICT digital talent supply pipeline is well guaranteed to support Sarawak in realizing the vision of digital economy as a developed and high-income state by 2030. And that is all for me. I'm Yume Sarni for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.